Everything I've ever done in my life, I've done it my way. 92-year-old Arnold Lane has been doing music his way for 86 years. I have played. I've played uh, about all my life. I played star playing when I was six years old. And uh, my dad was a real good fiddle player. And he played the fiddle real good, too. Mr. Lane crafted his first fiddle at 14. And I built that old fiddle and I played that thing. And it was a good fiddle, but it looked terrible. And uh, I always wanted to make fiddles, and uh, that's what started me. In 1948, Lane and his wife, Irma Dean, moved to Bentonville to raise their own kids, two of them, in a town of just 2,400 residents. What was Bentonville like back then? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. We knew nearly everybody in town and everybody knew us. We've enjoyed living in Bentonville so much. When his children were grown and his small town was growing up too, Lane turned back to music. After I retired, I decided I was going to make fiddles. So I have been making fiddles and I've made 439 of them. Using every type of wood imaginable. Really try to make the different. The fiddle crafting process seems painstakingly detailed. It looks so complicated <laughs> and precise. Well, it is kind of complicated, but uh, I don't know. I like a challenge, and I guess it's a challenge one. Finished fiddles remain in his home. Others have been enjoyed by fans of Mr. Lane's craftsmanship. I've got a picture of Soji Tahuchi playing one of my fiddles. And, and then I met him over in Harrison at the Fiddler's Convention over there. One of a kind, custom labors of love crafted right here on Blueberry Lane. It's what's keeping me alive, really, making those fiddles.